Hello everybody, how you doing? So, I'm gonna have a serious discussion, everybody, okay? What are you people willing to do for salvation? I mean, seriously. Is there anybody out there willing to lay down their life for me? For their Lord? Besides stars? And some other people? I don't think there's very many other people. What about the other people? Not already. Make great sacrifice. Well, you can wait for Jesus. You're a Jesus person. I think he was Jerry Garcia. That's what I think Jesus was. If there was a Jesus person, it had to be him. Come on. Don't you think so? Well, I believe they modeled the character of Jesus. I'm not going to get into the whole explanation. I believe they modeled the character of Jesus after St. Jacob. And there was, I think there was a person named St. Jacob. Might have, might have actually been a St. Jacob person. Now, this guy was also called uh, the Syrian, I believe. There's some ancient guy, and he's called the Syrian. Something, Cyrus the Syrian, maybe? I don't know. But apparently, I, I believe I had something to do with that Cyrus thing there. Cyrus, the, the laws that he made, the laws that he wrote. You know, on the, the spindle thing. You know, the barrel thing. Well, gotta search, do some serious soul searching, you know. Realize who we really are as a race, human race. Serious. We all got hum uh, reptilian DNA, I believe. I don't mean to stand over here, I don't have proper equipment here. <clears throat> yeah, so... Uh, what did I say? So, what if it turns out, okay, what if it turns out that we're... Uh, you know, we have reptilian DNA, so what if it turns out that the reptilians will offer us salvation? Or a certain amount of the population salvation? What do you guys think about that? You gonna do it? Now see, I believe I'm a special case because I might be a mixture. Uh, remember I said, I said if, uh, remember I said, I said that uh, if I ever rose to power, that the gangs would support me, you know. <clears throat> right? So they would probably want to put a mark on me, you know, some kind of mark. So if you're an alien race and you're involved in providing us the 
people of earth with salvation, uh, you would want to represent yourself somehow as well, I believe. Right? Stand to be. So I might have some sort of mixture, maybe different races, encoded, you know. Okay. So let's face reality, okay? Who's gonna provide us with salvation? When are we when are we gonna get uh, some kind of guarantee? As far as at least some of the population having some guarantee of salvation. How am I going to secure this guarantee of salvation? I can't do it from out here. I can, but no, not really definitively, you know. Not good enough for me. Um, you know, be there. I mean, everybody, be there. All right, so let's stop discriminating against reptilian people. What do you think about that? I believe we should start to accept the fact that these people are here and they do whatever they do. But where, where, you know, as bad as it sounds, I, you know, I, I consider myself a slave. You know, I got a birth certificate and a social security number. Yeah. Some might say you're on paper, you know. Maybe, maybe you're on paper. Some might say, so. but. So somebody, somehow we ended up in this spot, you know. <clears throat> so, the people that control the, what you know is, what we know as Earth, uh, it'd be nice if we could communicate with these people, if they would come out of the shadows, you know, we'd be willing to accept them and not freak out, you know. We gotta start thinking about some of these things that, you know, if there's really reptilian people here and there's a lot of them and, well, we better be prepared to, you know, deal with these people. I'm talking to everybody, from an old lady to a little kid to a school teacher down the street, whatever. You know, we gotta accept, let's just start accepting our reality, everybody. Remember, in the beginning we weren't man or woman, we just were, I believe. We were just angels, we had no sex or both sex. Like maybe you had no genitalia or you're a hermaphrodite. None or both or something of this nature because you got to be pol you have to be balanced the polarity has to be balanced you know? can't be male or female you have to be male and female I believe obviously you know, I don't have any secret documents to prove show you but that's what I believe okay so we're men and we believe we're men and all this and women are women and that's it you know Okay, well, our mind might be blown very shortly, and we're going to become aware of some truth that this is the case, that we have to be non-polar or bipolar to escape. So what's that mean? Well, then we have to be transformed somehow you know, to, to this form, to be able to travel or whatever. 
somehow we're gonna have to be transformed. You understand? So, well, you know, from what my what my understanding is, how do, how do reptilians procreate? You know, well, I don't really know too much. You know, but I believe that in the beginning, before we were man or woman, we could procreate and we could procreate out our mouth. Like babies would come out of our mouth or whatever. If we're reptilian guys, you know, we could have actually, every human person that you believe you're human, you're watching us right now, we could have all started out as reptilians. How do you know that's not true? Do you remember all your past lives? I mean, are you totally aware of the reality that you're living in or that we're living in? I mean, say you. Let's get our mind right and and think about it and say, well, if I started out as reptilian, now I look like human person, whatever. <clears throat> well, so I, I'm reptilian. Is a, is a reptilian DNA in my DNA? Yeah. Did I start out as reptilian? Now I look like whatever I look like? Yeah. So why should we discriminate against these people? What, what are we discriminating against these people for? Because they enslaved us? Well, not just them. They're not totally responsible. And we let ourselves get enslaved too, don't forget. We allow it to happen. Somehow. Or whatever. Okay. So, let's stop the witch hunt and run around trying to convict everybody and you know, just digging up dirt, you know, just running around digging holes in dirt, okay, never mind. Let's figure out how to get our minds right and get out of here. Let's let's appeal to reptilian people and the other races. It's, you know, let's form some kind of committee that's willing to speak with the all the races. You know. Who's ever doing it now, I have nothing to do with it, and whatever you're doing, I don't know. No, I want to be star committee with me. I, you know, I want to be there. Okay, what's the deal? Who's who's willing to provide salvation? And what do you want in return? Very simple. Well, Mr. Satan, we're willing to provide a certain amount of population with salvation, safe exile. And in turn, we want to be able to we want to be a part of creating the new matrix that you're going to make, and we want to come back. Fine. No problem at all. Sounds good to me. And there you go. Okay, there's people walking around. They're not human people. They're allied people. But they, we perceive them as human. I don't know how many of these people are here, but at least some are. All right? Okay, so they don't look like us. They look different. Whatever they look like, whether they look like a, a, a reptilian person or a praying mantis person or a gray person or a, a giant dog person or whatever kind of person they look like. Or they're see-through, you can barely see them. Or they're, you know, fourth, fifth dimensional entities or whatever. Okay, you guys, come on. We got to get our act together here. We, we're not just... Ex we got this shit gotta come out, man. We gotta get shit popping here. I don't know why nobody ever comes to the point they don't call. Let's stop the let's stop uh let let's stop all the, the witch hunt, you know, and start working together. I'm I am i am willing to you know uh, surrender to the establishment, you know, or you know, even the people that gave me a hard time, I'm more of a to them people too, you know. Whoever they are, you know, they obviously want they were after me, you know. So that means they want me to, they want something to do with me, you know. Otherwise, they want to have anything to do with me. All 
I don't want, you know, these people could help me out a lot. You know, I got a lot of uh, jewels. So, I'm willing to, you know, I'm not trying to uh, continue to be a hard head, you know. I just want to get, you know, and then uh, I gotta go to, I want to go to Hollywood, see what's going on there, and Washington. Guarantees of salvation. What's up with that? Okay, which graces are willing to guarantee us salvation? And how many people are you willing to guarantee salvation? And what exactly do they have to do? Because you guys, you human people that are listening, like me, or whatever we are, we're red chilling, really, I believe. But we got it. We gotta. Uh, I wanna get a, get uh, some communication with these people. Okay. So how many? Okay. So which race is gonna give us provide us with salvation? How many people are they gonna provide salvation for? And what do the people have to do to to achieve the salvation? Okay. Do they come to me? I say that, you know, how, how many of the population can you provide salvation for? What do they have to do to achieve the salvation? And what do you want from me in return? And I say, well, we're willing to provide this many people with salvation. They have to eat this worm and swallow it or stick it in their eye or whatever the case may be. I don't, we don't, I don't know what it's going to be, everybody. You might have to who knows? But they'll be able to tell us. I told you, we got to be transformed. You can't leave. All our organs are used to this spinning around, living in a giant washing machine, lightning, Frankenstein ball. Can't do Got to be transformed somehow, everybody, to get out. You know, we're inside a glass ball, like picture tube thing, I believe. You can't just. Got to transform, remember? I told you about the pyramids. Change from a solid to a liquid to a gas and then fly away. So, what happens to a, a, a worm? It turns into a butterfly and flies away, doesn't he? <laughs> so, there you go. <laughs> what Do you guys remember the the... Video or it was an album? No, it was an album of you know that heavy metal music I was doing, black music, whatever. And uh, it had on the album on the album cover, "We Live as Worms." We live as worms. You already got worms in. We already got worms in our brain. I show you the picture. We all got worms in our brain right now. Your whole brain is full of worms, man. Already. What's one more worm? I'm looking at, I'm, I'm trying, I, I mean, we got to really wait, let's get down the brass tag. What do we got to do to achieve salvation? Well, the only way out is you put this fucking worm in your eye. There's no other way out. Oh, 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 you going to wait? No, I'm waiting for Jesus. I mean, you could leave. We got to, I don't know what it is, guys. I don't, I, I don't have worms in my, you know, I don't, I never, you know, I, I don't know, I'm not with anybody. I'm just going by what I see on the YouTube. That's what people say. I don't have any proof, no secret documents or anything. It's just what I learned, just from looking on there. Well, we're all reptilians. We already got worms in our brain. So if someone says, hey, you take this worm, put it in your fucking eye, and then you can get the fuck out the matrix, and what are you going to do? Say no? Well, what's going to happen to me? Well, reptilian presence is going to take over for a little while, and then you die. Or are you... Yeah, 
not really, well, there's really no death. Energy can only be transferred. It can't, can't be destroyed. So you just go somewhere, you know. Where we, where we go, where we go. I mean, we're going to end up somewhere. <laughs> I don't know. You're not going to tell me where the fuck you go. <laughs> Probably go to Reptilian Constellation. I was taking a guess. I don't know. I may have done it before, but I don't really know. But, I mean... Whatever. Okay, so what happens? Okay, now now we got what? We got uh, ringmakers. Well, who are these people? Well, they're what? Giant praying mantis people? Don't they look like praying mantises? The people? Okay, so here comes Mr. Praying Mantis. Hello, I am Saturn Ringmaker guy. I'm Mr. Praying Mantis. Oh, hello, Mr. Prime Mantis. My name is Mr. Satan. Oh, hello, Mr. Satan. Uh, I was asking if you could do us a favor. Uh, let's see if we make a deal. Do you think you could save some of the people of Earth from getting wiped out? Uh, and I'd be willing to, you know, make some kind of deal with you. Oh, okay, Mr. Satan. Well, we would like to have a uh, we would like to have a stake in uh, have a hand in creating the new matrix that I heard we heard you're going to create after it's destroyed you're going to make a new one said, yeah I said well we'll save some of the people and then <clears throat> we can you know design maybe a dimension for ourselves you know to be happy and live our way in there I said sure and say, can we come back again? I said, of course. Why not? Yeah, I'll make a dimension all nights for you. Get a dimension for reptilian people. Then go in there and live all happy in there. Dimension for sent praying manners people. They can go in there and be all happy in there. Can't happen? Why not? Why can't happen? Okay, so Mr. Praying Man is people. Well, what are the Mr. Praying Man is person? So, what is the people got to do to achieve salvation? They say, well, uh, this is how us our us uh, Saturn people. This is how we procreate. Well, uh, we have this special uh, we have these. <laughs> I don't know, I'm just going to make up something here. We have these special leaves that we eat, and then uh, we... Uh, no. <clears throat> the other praying man is the man praying... I, I don't know if there's men and women praying man as people. I don't know. <laughs> they say, well, we eat this special leaf, and we put our spittle on there and rub it around in there <laughs> then get pregnant <laughs> or whatever so they, so let's say reptilian people well you gotta take this worm and do whatever I don't know do whatever with the worm or well, the praying man's people so we gotta take this leaf and eat the leaf or whatever well then that's what we gotta do and then maybe an amphibian person is gonna come along and so, well, Mr. Amphibian person, I, I'm willing to offer you the same deal. Can you help out people of Earth and get some of them out of here? What do you want, you know, what do they have to do to achieve salvation? You already know what I'm willing to do for you, so. And say, yeah, well, yeah, we could save a certain amount of the population. And, uh, well, how, 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 how do they have to get out? And say, well, you got to eat a raw uh, amphibian person egg or something. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just guessing. But it might be something like that, guys. We might have to... Who knows what we got to do? I'm talking serious here. This is not madness. Okay, this is not madness. This is reality. I'm slapping I'm reality. So it's slapping you in the face. 
Okay, so you got an extraterrestrial race stand there willing to offer you salvation, and you, and you know for a fact that that's an extraterrestrial person or whatever, and, and you know they come from outside of wherever the fuck we are. Okay? You're going to eat this special leaf or whatever you're going to do and get out, or are you going to stay here until the ceiling falls in your lips and they drop bubonic plague on you or whatever or a giant nuclear bomb goes off or who knows I mean I, you know anything can happen huge earthquakes tsunamis tidal waves that nucleus thing could blow up implode I believe eventually the whole thing's gonna implode but whatever I don't know when <laughs> well are you gonna do it are you going to say, no, uh, I'm going to wait for Jesus? You didn't wait for Jesus. You know what that reminds me of? Someone, someone, okay, let's say I got praying mass people. I got reptilian people. I got dog people willing to offer you salvation somehow. I got amphibian people willing to offer you people salvation. And I make a deal, they can come back. And, it, and we'll create the matrix and they won't bother us and we'll be able to live our way and they can live in their dimension, live their way and we can get along just fine and then once a week we have a dance we meet in the, you know, summer camp. They canoe from the other side of the lake, you know, come over and then we have a dance and hang out. Okay, let's go. Get your minds right. Because this is what it's going to be. Fucking serious. Did I ever fucking lie to you? Maybe because I didn't know what I was talking about. But I believe I know what I'm talking about here. So guys, ladies and gentlemen, you watch this video. Get your minds right. You're reptilian, most of you, I believe. We might have started from a lizard growing in the coming out of the ocean or wherever we came out of. Okay? So you started that way. Your your brain is full of cellulose worms already. So if I come to you and say, well, if you take this worm and eat it or whatever you gotta do with it, put it up your butt, I don't know. I don't know disrespect, but I'm just making jokes. It's not funny, but, uh, you know, okay. You going to do it? Praying man's person here. You got to eat this special leaf and switch around your mouth and do whatever. I don't know. 